What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel, Nuts and Bolts. So right now, I'm in the middle of taking off my circuit breaker and putting in the QS8 connector. I just came back from changing the QS8 uh, connector on my battery. I just put that on. So these are anti-spark uh, connectors, so that way you don't need the circuit breaker. The reason I'm doing this because, is because my circuit breaker constantly pops on me. Before it would pop at about 60 miles an hour, and then maybe a little bit lower, and maybe 55 or so. But just yesterday, it popped at about 38 miles an hour. And it popped three times yesterday at all different speeds, so it's really unpredictable. Another good thing about doing this is you get to take out your circuit breaker, which makes a lot more space uh, inside here to uh, manipulate your wires and get it all tucked in nice and tight. So what I've completed so far that wasn't on camera, unfortunately, was a soldering of this six gauge wire uh, to the QS8 and stock is only eight gauge wire which is actually half the size of the six gauge wire so we're doing this right now I got everything disconnected my back 8000 has a power cable disconnected and the ground cable disconnected so this is what's going on from the controller here and this is to the battery so next, what I gotta do is take off this circuit breaker. I believe it's just four screws. There, there, and two below here. And it's gonna be a, a 2.5 Allen wrench. It also has a little nut on the other side. So what I found that fits is a 730 seconds. So once those four screws are out, you gotta manipulate this. It's pretty tight, but you can pull it out and you'll see two little plastic washers come out. So just so you know, this is what it looks like in the bike. Power wire, ground wire go to the controller here. It comes across into the circuit breaker and to your battery. So this is what I have. So this is all I had on hand. It's an audio O-ring terminal. I have a more robust terminal on order and will be coming in a few days, but I didn't want to wait and not ride in the meantime you know you have to expose the wire that came from your circuit breaker and into your controller there was a plastic wrap around it so I cut it out and there's another wire here and I believe this goes to the ignition before you crimp your your old connector to to this wire you're gonna wanna take this wire out and connect it to there. So the power wire came with a red and the negative wire comes with the green. There you go, nice and solid. Get your heat shrink to protect all the wires. And we'll do the same with the black and green wire. Go nice and solid. There you go. Now all the lines are connected. You just gotta feed this side back up. I like to put it underneath where the tilt sensor bracket is. Put it underneath that bracket. There you go. Now we can connect it back. Black on the negative and red on the positive. And that's pretty much it. All I gotta do is button it up, put all the screws back in, and uh, you're good to go. Now you're bypassed the circuit breaker. The circuit breaker's gone. All you do is connect this end to your battery, and that, that's it. No more worrying about, about cutting out midway through your ride. This is gonna be such a huge stress off my, my shoulders and uh, I can't wait to ride a, a long distance with this. That's gonna be it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned a little bit of something and uh, we'll see you on the next one. All right.